afternoon baseball coming your way on the show from Petco Park in downtown San Diego. Today, a matchup out of the National League West between the San Francisco Giants and the San Diego Padres. Live baseball here on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. Number 59 gets the start for San Diego in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard, soft. You can go in and out. And anytime you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. At the plate, number 19. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Leading off the afternoon for San Francisco, the second baseman, number 19. First offering on its way. And afternoon baseball on MLB Network is underway. First pitch, 1 o'clock. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. And he fans on the barehanded attempt, so that ought to be scored as a bunt single. Softly hit toward the hole. Hosmer comes up with it. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. And here's how the visiting San Francisco Giants line up in this one. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, Matt, Evan Longoria has been tearing it up lately. The guy is in the middle of the lineup, and when he's in the middle, things just happen. Guys in front of him get on, he drives them in, and if not, he has the ability to get things started and set the guys up behind him. He's a force. Ball one to start the at-bat. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. Ball to strike on the inside part of the plate. Two and one. The two one. Will not catch the zone. Ball three. Steven Duggar is on deck. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. Fielded cleanly. Throw on to first. Two gone. Batting third. Into the box now. Steven Duggar. He'll get to take his first cuts here. First pitch coming, here it is. There's a fastball to start him off, but that misses for ball one. Lifted in the air to center. Margo will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. Giants down in order. A zero for the Giants to start. Padres coming up next. You're watching MLB Network. Derek Rodriguez is on the mound for the Giants in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, when you look up the definition of rock solid for a starting pitcher, this is your kind of guy. Career ERA under three, just knows how to get it done, controls the running game, limits the amount of damage, and more importantly, he knows how to win, and that's why it's going to be fun to watch and work in this one here today. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here's the first pitch to him. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0 1. One and one to San Diego's leadoff batter. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. Padres shortstop ahead with a three ball one strike count. Well this has been a good job to work the count from 0 and 1 to 3 and 1 and now he's really in the driver's seat to see a heater that he can do something with. And he takes ball four so the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Wow you know he's not happy with that call when it crossed the plate it sure looked like a strike to me seemed to catch a ton of the plate. That's a tough way to give up a walk, but he's got to put it behind him now. Into the box, number 22. Pitch inside the throw. He is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. 
one and one the count. Rodriguez has made a name for himself as a starter that simply misses the barrel of the bat. He rarely allows a large number of hits and he does a pretty good job of keeping the ball in the ballpark when the hitters do make contact. And he fouls this one off. From the belt the pitch and a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Time now to check the hometown Padres lineup card in this that one. Who do you have your eye on, Dan? Well, I love watching Manny Machado do his thing. He's such a great talent, the kind of talent that can dominate a game, a, a perennial all-star, and win some awards. He's one of the best in the game today, and he's always fun to watch. First pitch of the at-bat. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Waiting on it, the left fielder. And he brings it in on the warning track. And he'll make it into third base as on the F7 he gets in there with two away. The first baseman. So a man at third here with two gone. And standing in, here's the first baseman, Eric Hosmer. First delivery to him on the way. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. With the runner on third, two outs, base open, and a good hit at the plate, you have to be smart and not give in. If you walk this guy, so what? It's a lot worse if you give him a ball that he can hurt you on. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Pilar is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Padres leave one and this is still a nothing nothing ball game. So striding in Buster Posey will get us started in the top of the second. Number 28. And he tries to hold back on the swing but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. 0 and 2 the counts of Posey. Pretty lucky to get away with that one. There's not a situation ever where you want to throw a high changeup, so I think he'll try to make an adjustment with the next one he throws. Inside, as that perhaps will back him off a bit, one and two. You know, there aren't many guys that could just spit on an 0 2 pitch like that. Maybe it fooled him. We won't ever know, but it worked out. This has popped up. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. That is fifth. The third baseman. Stepping in, Evan, Evan Longoria. Longoria. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Fouled away. The one one home is taken for strike two. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. The 2 2. And it's fouled away. Here's the pitch on 2 and 2. He stays alive still 2 and 2. A swing and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two up, two down to start the second. So coming to the plate, Brandon Crawford, as he'll get his Brandon. first opportunity in this one. Didn't quite catch the zone there, ball one. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. Hard hit ball to second. And that is through into right field for a single. You know, Dero, it's not always easy to hit in the day that games. First good. five hitters, five up, five down. Six hole hitter, though. Yeah, he eight, must have gotten a good long. night's sleep last That's night. That's exactly where I was going, Dan. First five guys in the order looked like they were still asleep rolling out of bed. Those day games will creep up on you. Six hole guy was locked and loaded. Nope. Ball, one. Ball one as the changeup misses well off the inside. To Eric two balls and two strikes now. 
Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. Full count with two outs now, so if he could put the ball in the gap somewhere, he could have a good shot of And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Into the box, Hunter Renfro. As they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. Hunter Renfro. A bouncer to the left side. And a good throw gets him one gone. The Standing in, number Double nine. Time. He'll take his first hacks here. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Here and he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Hey, if he's going to get swings and misses at balls up and out of the zone, he's going to continue to go there. Grounded back up the middle. A dive, and he knocks it down. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. Digging in now for San Diego. Manuel Margot. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit weakly back to the mound. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. Now with the plate, the Austin Hedges. Off runner there. in scoring position with Sudan. Here comes the first pitch. Aye. And he starts the number eight hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. Bottom of the second here with no score. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Here's the first Maybe pitch to the him. Guy. The first baseman, number nine. And he lays off a pitch Brandon in there for the first strike. Belt. Yeah, I'm shocked he let that first pitch go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel the furthest. Fouled off. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Swing and he pops him up. And no one will track it down. Now another 0-2. And he fouls this one off. Another 0-2 home. Pulled toward right center field. Margo's under it. And that's the first out of the inning. Next to bat for the Giants, the Derek Rodriguez. Derek Rodriguez. First pitch fastball in there for a called strike. Outside for a ball, one and one. Ready with the one one pitch. A ball and two strikes now. Hey, I watched Tom Glavin master throwing changeups inside to right handed batters and getting them to pull it foul. If this guy can command that front hip curveball, he's going to go to it all game. Sent on the ground out to second. Reined in. And that's the second out. Now batter. Standing number in, 19. number 19. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. High pop up. Number 9. He'll put this one away, and the side is retired. Stepping in, number 59. He's ready for ready his first A.B. Up, here Andre. in this one. The first Pitcher. delivery to him number on the way. 59. And a fastball misses here to start the at-bat. It's 1-0. and oh. A pretty healthy hack that time. It's 1-1. One and one. I think he just subscribed to the swing hard in case you hit it philosophy of hitting. As a pitcher, why not? Better than standing up there like you've never held a bat before. And the Padres pitcher behind with a one and two count. The one two. Good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one. Here's another one two. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. 
So one away here with How the bad. bases empty. Number and that will bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. And that misses for ball one. One out, nobody on. Popped him up. Belt in foul ground. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now, back. now at the plate, number, number 22. 22. 0 for 1 here in the early going. First pitch of the at bat. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Pulled with the curveball there, and it's strike two. Well, we know what this guy's approach is. He's looking to go absolutely deep right here. I don't see him getting anything over the heart of the plate. Hit hard, but foul toward first, so he'll come back and line it up again. The next 0 2 misses, and that'll move it to 1 and 2 now. That misses, and we're even at 2 and 2. Bases are empty here with two men out. Lifted in the air out to left. Under it is the left fielder. No trouble with this one, and. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Number five comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. Well, if you love pitching and defense, this has been a game for you. Are you happy with that, Dan? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low-scoring pitcher's duel for once. As a hitter, you got to be staunch in your game plan. You know he has a nasty changeup, and you got to fight to make sure it's in the zone. That's a great take right there. So it was a strikeout swing. Now, Number five right goes down to become the first right. out here in the fourth. The high fastball is in there. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. Now on 0 and 2, I don't think we're going to see any more hittable fastballs. If we see one at all, it'll probably be extended out of the zone, or at least that'll be the intent. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Steven Duggar is sent packing for the second out of the inning. One ball, no strikes to count. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Pretty adamant about working him inside right now. Back to back fastballs, and that one was able to find the zone. He pops up the changeup, heading out towards shallow right. Number nine is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Giants down in order. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. Here's Manny Machado now. He's 0 for 1 thus far. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. Machado now on 0 and 1. 0 1 pitch, and he can't make contact on the bender 0 and 2. He came out of his shoes on that one, boys. I know he swung and missed it. We felt the breeze from up here, but if he gets that pitch again and catches it a grain low, we got action. A ball and two strikes now. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Settling in now, Eric Hosmer. He flew out in his last at bat. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. A ball and a strike to the Padres first baseman. Hard hit toward Crawford and caught by him at shortstop as he'll hang on here to record the second out. Now at the play, Hunter Renfro. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Fouled away. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs.
Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Watching him on the mound, I'm really impressed with what he's doing right now. He's been really aggressive and confident over the last couple of innings. And he reaches out for one and may have chased it as this is skied into the air to straightaway center. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. Between innings, I was able to discuss the current state of the Giants lineup with manager Bruce Bochy. And he told me overall he's not happy with the at bats they're putting together. They've only Leading managed the one shot. base runner in this game. So it's easy to see why he Evan. said they haven't oh, shown much fight Ball today. Warrior. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going though. This game isn't out of hand so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. All right. Thanks Heidi. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. This for Machado down at third. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. The batter. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And stepping in, the slick fielding shortstop, Brandon Crawford. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 0. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Crawford is 6 2 and bats left but throws right handed. He was a fourth round selection during the 2008 draft. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy drafted in the middle rounds and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. So it's a backwards K on the changeup that time. Brandon Crawford goes down for out number two in the top half. And he pours this one in at the letters 0 and 1. In there, and he's in control 0 2 now. Let's see if he continues to climb that ladder, or does he try and get him fishing on something bouncing in the dirt? Renfro moves over. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Welcome back for the bottom of the fifth. Here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to catch up with manager Andy Green during the commercial break about the Padres' offense. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today. As far too often, they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Oh, he was sitting on that curveball, but he missed it. It's strike one. Good breaking ball there ball. laid off for the Two second seconds. strike. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. The throw to first is in time one down. The center fielder. So the Number base is seven. empty here with one away Redwell. and that'll bring up the versatile center Margo. fielder Manuel Margo. Heading out towards shallow right. Duggar's there for it. And that's the second out of the inning. Now Driving in, Austin, Austin Hedges. He looked to bounce back Hedges. after striking out his last time up. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matt. He's got to find a way. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is. So stepping in, Brandon Belt fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. 0 and 1 the count. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And it's fouled away. Grounded down the third baseline, but this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0 and 2. And on 0 and 2, he misses with a fastball. Pretty standard fastball right there, 0 and 2. Now he's changed the eye level of the batter so he can start working something in like an off speed curveball down in the zone. 
And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first out. That's the exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop-out. Well-executed pitch there. Number nine has a play, makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now batting. So the batting order number turns 19. over now and set to go number 19. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. And that's cut on and missed 0 and 1. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's 1 and 1. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. Pitch popped up. Number 9 has got it, and the side is retired. Giant. Up next, it'll be the pitcher for the Padres, number 59. Padres. He'll get things started the here pitcher. in the second half of the number sixth. 59. Heading out towards shallow right. Duggar's there for it. Makes the play one away. Digging in once the again, back. Fernando number Tatis Jr. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Swing and a liner. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. The batter. Digging number in, 22. number 22. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch to him. And there he goes towards second. He swings and misses. Throw down. And it'll be in time. Posey delivers the strike to get him. No runs, two hits, no errors in the ballgame for the Padres. Nasty breaking ball swung on in the dirt. Posey's got it, and that ends the inning. Ready for another shot now, number five. He'll start the seventh, and Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Oh, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. In the dirt. It's 3-0 and now. He's been throwing strikes all day. So you're not up at the plate thinking he's going to walk you in this situation. You need to be aggressive and sit hard at the plate. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Here's the first pitch to him. Now back. And that's taken the for right strike field. one. Defense. Hey, this is a perfect opportunity for them to get on the board right now. Leadoff man has done his job. Now the middle of the order gets their shot at the plate. Whoa. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Those 0-2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. Machado battles the, the sun a bit, but has it for round number one. Buster. Right there for strike one. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Possible go-ahead runs on first. One away. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And that'll get down for a base hit. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one-out single. Hey, you play to win the game right there. You want to put this defense on its heels a little bit. Late innings for them to implore the hit and run. That's an aggressive tactic by the manager, and it paid off. One ball, no strikes to count. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2-0. and Great chance right here as a hitter to be aggressive. You can pretty much count on a pitcher. He's trying to get back in the strike zone. And with two guys on base right here, it's time to grip it and rip it. Tried to bury one down and away, but it's a full count now, three and two. One of the things you want to do with a starter, get that pitch count up. Here's another productive at bat, as this count now gets to three balls and two strikes. There to pull it in is Machado, and that's out number two. The batter, number 35. Big spot here, Look runners down. at the corners, Brandon. two gone, and that'll bring up the left-handed hitting shortstop and San Francisco Bay Area native Brandon Crawford. A ball and a strike. 
pulled toward right center field. Margo's on the move, and he brings it down to end the inning as the go-ahead run is left stranded. Giants leave a couple. We are still scoreless. Digging in, Manny Machado. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. They're starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Oh, man, he took a swing and a half at that one. I think some frustration is creeping into these guys, so he might have just been trying to get his guys on the board with one swing. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Next will be the cleanup hitter, the Eric Hosmer. Hit. hit the ball Aaron. pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. The windup and the 0-1. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. The next 0 2. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. Now in the box, now Hunter back. Renfro. Left First two men in the inning Hunter. have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. And this is going to get down for what should be extra bases. And there's your potential go ahead run. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. I'll tell you, that's one of the first good swings we've seen anybody put on this guy so far. He's been throwing the ball really well, but that was one of the few mistakes we've seen him make. Next to the plate for the Padres, number nine. And his guys are looking to erase that donut on the scoreboard with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. This is the stuff that infuriates a manager. You have to think the game. You got to know he's trying to pitch around you. You cannot swing at that pitch out of the zone. Oh, and he's got him in the palm of his hand now. It's 0-2. Hey, newsflash, think he was guessing, boys? Because that was an ugly swing right there. 0-2. Here it is. Breaking ball swung on in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. So in now for San Francisco, Kevin Pillar. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Adi pops it up, drifting just beyond the infield. Number nine backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first down. Now batting. One gone here in the Giants' half of the eighth. And standing in now, the left-handed hitting first baseman, Brandon Belt. Strike one to start the at bat. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. Down the first baseline, but a foul ball, and the count holds at 0 2. Lifted in the air out to right. Under it is the right fielder. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Now that so here now is the pitcher Derek Rodriguez and his dominance continues on the mound but it seems like he might be running on adrenaline only at this point. Yeah he's been so great in this one. You want to see him finish what he started but you also have to start worrying about things like injuries. He's thrown a lot of pitches in this one and some guys are just more capable of that than others but not a lot of good things tend to happen when you have worked as hard as he has in this one. Three and one the count now. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. So far this has been a terrific outing for this guy. Throwing well. Keeping his pitches to a minimum. Locating his fastball to both sides. And the shortstop is under it to make the play. Retiring the side. Pretty painless half of the inning all told. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. And we still have no score. In now, Manuel Margo, and he'll start out the bottom of the eighth inning. Not sure if this is a powerhouse pitching performance by both teams 
four bad hitting, but as we're moving oh. late into this one, it's about time somebody put something together to try to score a run. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hit out towards second. And that'll get through into center. So there's your possible go-ahead run on base now to lead off the inning. Hey, that was a well-executed pitch down and away. Sometimes you got to tip Look your hat it. to the offense. Off That's a nice there. piece of hit. Maybe not what he was Head looking there. for, but the result was there. First pitch of the at-bat. There goes Margot. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Left fielder has a beat on it. One away. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. Ladies Will Myers will come on to pinch hit please. here in a big spot. Pinch hitting for the Padre. Number four. Will Myers. Runner goes for second. Off for that and missed. Here's the throw. He's going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with one away. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. A one and two count to Will Myers. You chase a pitch that bad outside the zone, you got to find a way to regroup. Adjust the batting gloves. Only look over the hard of those 17 inches. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. The San Diego now batting order turns over three. and set to go. Fernando Tatis Jr., a hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. So a rather weak start to the at bat as he misses badly there. It's 0 and 1. That's over, but low. It's a ball and a strike. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch till he proves he can lay off of it. The set and the 1 1. Skied into straightaway right. Duggar is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. One left for San Diego. And this is still a nothing nothing ball game. will come on to take over now, on the mound now and he'll hit in the third spot Number in the lineup as a part of the double Kirby. switch. Will Myers yes. is into the ball game as well. This he'll slide into the pitcher's the spot, spot hitting ninth now on now the double switch. Number four. Stepping up now, Will. number 19. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. Grounded up the first baseline, fielded cleanly by Hosmer, and a step on first for the out, three unassisted. So his day over now as you get a look at the pitching line for the San Diego starter. It was a really nice day on the mound for him. Hey, what a great job of mixing speeds and mixing up his pitches. Two hits allowed in this one. Dominant performance. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Right fielder has a beat on it. And that's the second out of the inning. The right fielder, number two. Ready for another chance? Steven Duggar, who could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. In my opinion, there is no one in this bullpen that relishes a moment like this on the mound other than this guy. It looks like he feeds off the challenge of pitching in tight games. From the stretch, the one two. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. This one's down to third. Throw in time and the side is retired. So nothing happening this time around. All squared up and even in San Diego through eight and a half. The Friars have it. 
Your Kirk Smith please. comes on to work on now the mound, hoping to send this one into extra innings. Number 70. Kirk. Stepping up to the plate, yeah. number 22. 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ball game. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at bat. It's nothing in one. You know, it's funny. I can count on one hand the times I was able to actually go to the plate and think home run and hit a home run. I wish guys would just focus on getting into their rhythm at the dish, trying to hit the ball hard and let the chips fall where they may. When they try and hit home runs, it usually doesn't happen. One and two now. The one two. Misses for the second ball. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And this is going to get through into center. So there's your possible winning run aboard on the leadoff single. Leadoff base hit to start the bottom of the ninth inning right here. Everybody in the dugout on their feet. Top step in it. We're going to see if he works a bunt, hit and run. I don't know. Maybe he's swinging for the gap and he gets to be the hero himself. Ladies Nick Martini will get the call please. here as he'll hit for the pitcher. He's hitting for the Padre. Number two, Nick Martini. Now time is called and a very wise decision here with the potential winning run at first. They'll opt to put a little extra speed on the base pass. He's running. Pitch outside the throw. And it'll be in time. Posey delivers the strike to get him. Bases are empty. One man out. Popped up Longoria in foul ground but this will land untouched. The one one home. Waves and misses for strike number two. Fouled off. Hey, great job just to be able to foul that one off. In today's game, that's what we're seeing. North-south, pitchers want to elevate, want to get you out above the zone Three. or below it. Breaking ball, called third strike as that catches the zone for route number two. Now First that. baseman First Eric baseman. Hosmer is in. Eric. No hits in three tries so far. Hosmer. He struck out once. Yeah, and this is the guy for me. I, I think this is the guy in the clubhouse that the guys truly gravitate towards. The total package of Eric Hosmer's game is really special. Hit in the air to center field. Chasing after it is Pilar. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Nothing doing there for the Friars. Still no score.